rain and rivers all life on the earth is very crucially dependent upon water 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water we depend upon water for growing crops but we do not get water uniformly over the year let us learn about the diversity in water availability and its consequences the story of rain begins with the water vapor when we heat the water water change into water vapor is called evaporation for example pranavi woke up early in the morning she needed to take bath in hot water so she heated water in a dish over fire has the water heated up water vapor touched the lid and with the help of outside cool air vapor became water drops and stuck to the lid of the dish when she removed the lid some of the water drops fell into the dish by observing this she realized that the water evaporates and later it becomes condensed into water by cooling by above example we can conclude that if we heat the water water change into water vapor if we cool the water vapor it change into water wet clothes we put in the open to sunshine after a while water in the clothes disappears and clothes become dry similarly if you keep some water in a plate it dries up in a couple of days actually water in the cloth or in the plate becomes water vapor and mixes with the air through a process called evaporation the process of evaporation speeds up with the increase in the temperature precipitation different forms of condensation of water vapor is known as precipitation this may take place in the form of dew fog rain snow and hail etc humidity the amount of invisible water vapor present in the atmosphere is known as humidity winds and clouds surface of the oceans that maximum evaporation and cloud formation takes place after all oceans are vast water bodies extending up to thousands of kilometers as a result it also rains very heavily on the oceans clouds also travel in land for thousands of kilometers rainfall in telangana southwest monsoon sets the beginning of june the winds carry the clouds rain gauge an instrument by which the rainfall is measured is known as rain gauge the amount of rainfall for a unit area is measured in centimeters we can ensure that by keeping a bottle in an open place we should notice that there are no walls or trees that can block the rain water from falling into the bottle by using the scale we can measure the rainfall in centimeters if we leave the bottle in the open for a few days we can know how much it rained in the week or month flow of rivers when water flows on the earth some of it percolates into the soil some flows on the surface of the land and the rest becomes water vapor and mixes with air transformation of a stream into a broad river a river usually is in the form of a thin stream as it flows further it gets bigger and broader this happens because many small streams join it as a stream flows rivers or streams which join a large river are called tributaries 
As the river becomes bigger and broader, its flow gets slower. It starts depositing the slit and sand it has carried on its bed and banks. This causes the formation of plains. River gets even more slower and is no more longer able to carry the slit and sand. It deposits them on its own course which then gets filled up. When flood waters come again, they have to cut through new channels to reach the sea. Thus, towards the end of its journey to the sea, a river forms a delta. In our state, we have two main deltas of Godavari and the Krishna rivers, flood plains and floods. The river does not contain the same amount of water all the year around. While the river is full during the rainy season, it usually shrinks during the dry season. River is very wide and it has high banks. This valley is filled with the sand and gravel. We can notice that there are no trees here. This is because every year when it rains heavily, this valley is filled with water allowing no permanent trees or plants to grow here. This treesless bed is called the flood plain of the river. All major rivers have their flood plains. During the rainy seasons, some parts of the country get flooded due to excess rainfall. Floods occurring in rivers like Krishna, Godavari, Brahmaputra or the Ganga. Floods have become a major problem in our country. This causes severe damage to people, crop and livestock. Forests and vegetation. Vegetation reduces the erosion of soil by rainwater. If there is little or no vegetation, rainwater cuts and carries with it a lot of topsoil. This soil is deposited on the river bed which reduces the depth of the river. Vegetation allows the water to flow slowly into the river, thus preventing sudden flooding. When forests are cut down, facing the challenge in cyclone and floods, Andhra Pradesh has a long coastal line and is frequently facing with very destructive cyclones. When heavy winds blow from the sea, heavy rains lash the lands and heavy waves make the sea very unsafe. These usually occur between... How can people meet the challenges of disasters like cyclones and floods? Through long-term planning by government and close cooperation between the people and the government agencies. Installation of early warning system by the government. Providing for long. If you need to evacuate. Pack clothing, essential medication, valuables, personal papers, etc. in waterproof bags to be taken to the safe shelter. Raise furniture, clothing, appliances on the beds or tables. Turn off power. Whether you leave or stay, puts